Let's have a look at how SAP Isfahana helps users in procurement get their job done more easily. In procurement, I want to make sure I'm not spending too much on materials, and a good way to do that is to negotiate contracts with suppliers. As you can see, the system is telling me here that we appear to have quite a lot of spend outside of contracts. So let's open up this app to have a look at which materials are causing this. Here you can see which materials already have a contract. Those are the green bubbles. The system is actually making proposals. The orange bubbles are the ones it is not proposing, and the blue ones are the ones it's proposing. If you look at the axes, you see here the total gross amount. Of course, the more you're spending on a material, the more relevant it is to get a contract to cover it. Similarly, if you have a lot of purchase order items, that is also an indication. If we look at the top right here, we indeed see that they are the top ranked items, as you might expect. Now, in fact, the system is not just taking these two parameters, total gross amount and number of items into account when making its proposal. If you click on the ranking, you get an explanation. You have these two here, but also how long have you been ordering it for, or the number of suppliers, or is it still relevant, i.e. the days since the last order. These are all taken into account and used to produce this ranking. So the system is being intelligent, showing you a proposal, and you can, for example, simply select the top four and click on Create RFQ to start negotiating with suppliers on a good price. We could ask externally for a price request, but let's go straight to a sourcing request, an external sourcing request, where we can enter the data for the RFQ for the four materials I just selected. So as you can see, Esfahana helps users get their work done more easily.